Hello everybody and welcome to Tiny Echo. We're your hosts, I'm Michael. I'm Amanda. And uh, we're not really sure what this is. And we thought maybe you want to know what it is? Because it's got weird stuff in it like people with smoke coming out of their faces. It's not a hidden object game is my understanding. So we're going a little outside of our comfort zone. <laughs> as some of the world's greatest hidden object game problem solvers. Especially of the aquatic variety. We were taken with the uh, illustrated art style of this game and uh, figured we would explore this alien world with you. So we got a lot of people who are breathing a lot of smoke uh, out of their pipe heads, I, I guess. Yeah, all right. And so you can click a little bit and make things happen. We gave them some water, and here we're giving them some fire. So, that's an achievement of some kind. We made plants grow and then disappear over there. It kind of looks like a crash site, except the crash site is everybody's heads. <laughs> I don't see any wreckage or anything. Maybe this is just what they do. They kind of sit around looking miserable with smoke coming out of their faces. And the smoke all leads to Oh, to a letterbox. Now you know something's happening. Oh, smoke hands. Sure. Right. Smoke hands deliver envelopes. To the mail pit. No wonder they look so miserable. They're like inventing some sort of smoke face email. This all makes so much sense so far. When you're a smoke face person and you want your mail delivered, the person to turn to is certainly this tiny person whose head is just a giant eye. They're the best in the biz. That's what I heard. <laughs> okay. So are we slotting any envelopes into the cubbies or just leaving? Okay. This doesn't do anything. See, it would light up if it did something. Yep. So. She <laughs> yawns. <laughs> the sleepy postal carrier. Tiny Echo. There we go. Old rice. Right mouse button to look around, not hold rice. If you could find some rice. If I could find some rice, I'd be happier. Um, so I guess so there's three different three paths. directions. Maybe four well, different directions. So many places to go. Let's just ignore this dude. <laughs> uh, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Since <laughs> it looks like he's got an empty envelope over his head, and we're supposed to deliver 13 of them from the looks of things. I know, but wouldn't it be funny to see what happens if you're the mail person, you and do you him clearly last. have mail for somebody, and you just walk straight past them? <laughs> like, but I was expecting my grandkids. No. Later. <laughs> we had to wake her up. just immediately took a break while we tried to figure out what was going on. Okay. Have a letter. Came from smoke. It came from smoke delivered to a shadow. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I think we can go ahead and put a stop to comments about things making sense. That doesn't seem to be the sort of game that we're playing. It's, uh, you know, an imaginative experience. I'm gonna it has figure its own this. dream logic. I'm going to figure this out. These are not puzzles to solve. You don't know. Have you played this game? No, but I've been watching it for enough seconds to have solved the puzzle of these are not puzzles. Is like that guy in hell? He's, he shovels inside the shadow. And one of those smoke faces from up top sent him a note that said, Break time's over, buddy. Get back to shoveling. It all follows. There's a narrative structure. Now, how come when I say it makes sense, <laughs> you cry for you me? You never said it makes sense. It, you know what? 
<laughs> you're going to have to watch this video just to remind yourself what you said a couple seconds ago. <laughs> which was a deeply ironic reading of Makes Sense, wherein you implied the opposite. Let's anyway, just, it's break time. Let's just oh. head on out to the tunnel. Closest tunnel. She seems like she would appreciate going to the closest place. The less walking, the better for our sleepy postal person, right? Uh-huh. Wow, this is pretty. Yeah, that's why we uh, were interested in the game. It's got a really beautiful look to it. Yeah, we just saw like a little short trailer and some of this little eyeball person walking around. Like, we don't care about learning anything else. Oh, look at those neat mask faces. It's like they're gathering leaves or something on their back. Yeah. All they have, they do when you click on them is turn and look at you. Yeah. So. What about you? You gonna turn and look at us? I mean, we, we gotta look for people with empty envelopes over their head. Everyone else is just padding the assignment. Uh, that person ate our little pointer. Th they ate the pointer? They bit it? Didn't you see that? Wow. Wow. That's gonna take the narrative somewhere else. Well, hmm. So we got a raven with lots of eyes. Somebody's floating. There's a root. Yeah. There's, in a, there's a pit. I guess... Was that a story that we were just told <laughs> by this standing person? Maybe. Oh, no. Maybe this is where they're coming from. Because we saw someone climbing up. I think they're half in a hole. Oh, you're right. They're I think that was hole. them, like, coming out of their hole to come chat. Oh, we didn't get the same visual indicator, so we're not always going to have it plainly labeled who gets an envelope. Uh-huh. So what does this shadow get for a letter? Do they also have a shoveling person? Also seems to be in hell. <laughs> I mean, it's all smoky and there's, like, volcanic shapes on the ground. It looks like hell to me. Hmm. Maybe that's, you know, projecting, but... <laughs> Everybody's coming off break. Back to fluting, buddy. <laughs> Even the pipe player doesn't get time off. And you click to dismiss the shadow, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. So your Mission mail is delivered. So somebody's internal shadow person is digging. Someone else's internal shadow person playing a wind instrument. We're making good progress. Making the world a better place. It's a fun noise. All right. Um... I just go all the way back? Guess we go all the way back? It doesn't look like there's any place around. If you use your look around thing, oh, are wait. there any. No, that's where we came that's from. That's where right? we came from, yeah. I mean, look around. There's an arrow over there oh, on the left. Oh, look, you're right. Gotta use that right mouse. Look around. Okay, well. I mean, we got 13 of these things to deliver, and there was only, what, five branches off the first? So we're gonna have to go deeper into some of these. Oh, we found the dishwasher. Oh. Okay. Gotta drop off this month's dishwashing gazette. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you clicked and the eyeball looked over there like what? <laughs> but they're not moving. Uh oh, is this water? No, uh, that's that's not water, that's smoke. No, smoke. Yeah. So So they can go over there. Or get closer. What is... You know, maybe the dishwasher is not a delivery point. We're just going past. Maybe. And that's why they just looked. But there's a double arrow to indicate they're interactable with. Oh. <laughs> once, once you're closer. Maybe oh. she's just a snob and she doesn't want to talk to the dishwasher. Uh, actually, the dishwasher gave like a little dismissive noise there and went back to washing. Hmm. Maybe someone else will have a letter for them later. But is Talk your to head the fire on head. fire? <laughs> uh huh. 
but but what did we learn there? That's what's up. Uh, yeah. Okay. So file that away. Oh, now they're following us. Hey, you know what? A firehead could probably dry some dishes for you faster than the towel. And make an introduction. Nope. Um, I don't know. I guess we just have firehead for now. No, I think you've got. I think you're probably onto something. Is that how? Is that helping? No, because they're like three feet forward. Well, I can't get any further back. Uh huh. I, I I don't think they're giving us the solution to this particular one in the same scene. Huh. So we're just supposed to take yeah. this firehead walk around with firehead until we find someone who needs firehead. Oh, okay. And All then right. we'll keep in mind that uh, if we see someone who looks like they really know how to wash dry dishes. a dish, yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, we lost they, firehead. They, they leave. Okay. So they are something to do with the solution of this one. Interesting. You want to go back and try again? Sure. Alright. I kind of thought maybe they would just tag around after us. No, I guess not. I guess this is a one screen puzzle. Here's my next thought. There is a waterfall you might be able to lead firehead into. Oh, you need to quench firehead? I mean, I don't know. If if you're not supposed to, it is an awfully rude thing to do. She just gave a little shrug when I put her here. Yep. Oh, um, am I supposed to bring Firehead over here to burn these ropes? And then what would that do? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's burn the whole forest down. we got a puzzle to solve. At the end of the day, we can turn off the game. We, it doesn't matter what happens in this environment for us. We are safe to be agents of chaos and destruction. Ah, uh, finally our true calling. We've been hiding our light under a bushel with all those hidden object games. Maybe the, um, the waterfalls are just supposed to be kind of an obstacle that we gotta lead yeah, the firehead around. Because your clickable path doesn't include the waterfall. Down. Yep. Yes. Oh, and then they turned into ash. Yes. What? So sorry. Oh, what have we done? We allowed some sort of a strange boat to set sail. Oh. Hey, dishwasher, did you know that was going to happen? <laughs> they are playing it so cool. Did you know what we were doing? Because we didn't know. Totally busted that boat. The boat we set free is busted somewhere with some natural pipes. Termite mounds? Termite mounds? Something? Is that. Were you objecting to the boat? Was that your problem? That wasn't your problem. No. Thus far, they have showed no interest in us at all. They might just be scenery. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I hope Firehead was not a friend of yours. I was just kind of going over here to see if Firehead just went back to where they started. You like know. a phoenix? Yeah, but no, they're just kind of gone. Okay, well, we've ruined one life. Let's get going. <laughs> Days. Maybe more. We don't know who depended on that ship being in its place or being in one piece. <laughs> the day is young. We'll find <clears throat> out how many lives we've ruined soon. And get to ruining more. Wait a minute. Are we... Despite all the cute illustration, are we going postal? <laughs> I know that as a phrase that's fallen out of some favor. It's kind of neat. There's a little conversation there with the fire gatherers. Who's that person on the right there? Is there a person on the right? Oh, that is a person. That's a little tiny, tiny person. But all they do is wave yeah. when you clicked on. So. If you use the right mouse, is there anything past them? No. Okay. No. Hmm. I think 
we're good to go. Cool. Go see what the world thinks of our unauthorized delivery of a boat. <laughs> you know, some people just go above and beyond in their occupation. Oh, this is not where we were. It's not just a job, it's a calling. You got us lost. <laughs> yes. Already? Well, I mean, every place in this game is some place we're supposed to be or it wouldn't be here. Bold assertion. <laughs> What's up with that moth? What is up with that moth? Nothing. It it kind of it kind of does a little hairdressing with yeah, its fixes fur. its hair. <laughs> That's cute. All right, let's head over this way. He's in this cave. Seems like we should be able to do more there. Oh, here we go. It's like what a waste of a big panorama illustration <laughs> to just have us go through the corner. Ooh, what's this? Let's take it as payment in advance for our mail. <laughs> oh yeah, sneak it home in our eyeball nose. <laughs> Whoa, dizzy making. We're, what? Hell we're, yeah. We're on a trip. Yeah, we can talk to a god now. Hi. Yeah, tell us things. Whoa! We're gonna give mail to the forest god. That you only see when you snort the blue smoke. Wow. Just think, if we'd been conscientious and gone to just do the delivery without sniffing, we would have missed this guy. Always do drugs at work. <laughs> That's the message of this game. <laughs> Is this person also in hell? Doesn't it look like it? Look, this looks like fire in the background and there's smoke coming up from these... I mean, it seems Pits. cavernous, but there's been smoke everywhere. It could just be, you know, a sacred space full of incense. It's hell. You know you're in hell when you're like, ooh, I got mail, and there's just like somebody going... Hmm. Get back to work! I don't know, nobody gets good mail anymore. We just get solicitations and coupons. Got, uh catalog that we could buy a goat you don't actually get the goat that's one of those catalogs where you tell someone else you got them a goat and then someone you've never met maybe gets a goat but you don't know oh we could go up here into here oh into the holes but let's go see what about these yeah. fisher people first that unlocked an achievement being curious yeah hmm. doesn't seem like much of an achievement Ooh. oh you scared a bug Whoop. Whoa! <laughs> and fed somebody way up top on a family field trip. Alright, well these fishing people don't seem to do anything. Can't actually interact with them? What about the kid on the back, if not the fisherman? Nah, I clicked on the kid and the kid also doesn't... Yeah. You just get a tug of the fishing pole? Yep, so I guess we go inside. Okay. Going in your house now. Oh no, or we're gonna go back up. The pathway. Yeah. The person with their kids under their clothes. Aw, how cute. Hey, remember me? I got you that bug. <laughs> oh, never mind. I mean, I wasn't asking for it back. <laughs> Whoa. Um, Frog monk. Feeding everybody in this forest today. Like that it makes the kids kind of go under the skirts a little more. Yeah. They also make tiny, tiny squealing noises. Did you hear it? Mm hmm Oh my gosh, that's cute. Little distressed rodent noises. Yeah. All right. What well, kind I... of sound library do the game developers have? <laughs> tiny distressed rodent sound. Dot mp3. <laughs> 3A. <laughs> Dot mp3. Okay, I guess we go here to go up and to the right. Yeah, and hopefully this time the frog monk is navigable. Mm-hmm. Right, he, yeah, wasn't, yeah. he, he wasn't was there. not lit up before, but now he's here. And now we go way out on a cliff. 
I wouldn't stand there, Tiny Echo, if that's actually your name. Okay, why are we delivering to their shadows, though? I don't know. <laughs> How do the envelopes keep going between, like, smoke and physical and shadow? It's all symbolic. You know, smoke arm people, maybe I just won't wake up this frog with this one. Maybe I think he deserves a rest. Game over. No, you can't back out without doing it. You have won the game. We just wanted to see if anybody would stop delivering mail. <laughs> No, it's... Whoa. Huh. Huh. You know, they arrange for some stars. Sure. <laughs> nice. This is all symbolic. We're going around agitating with propaganda to wake up the proletariat. Is that it? Yep. They're all going to form a union? Yep. Well, that's exciting. They're not going to form a union. They're going to form an army. <laughs> <laughs> a very tiny, very cute communist army. Yep, he's croak, happy. Croak. Well, do you remember how to get out of here? Yeah, we go this way. This way. This way. Think down a little bit. And do I have to pull? Oh no, you're right. It's this way, isn't it? It's kind of down there. Yeah. It is. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Don't. What? Don't. What? What? <laughs> Uh, just before you left, it indicated a down arrow into a pit that I don't think we explored. Alright, well, here we go. Alright, you see the black hole in the path? Oh! Like an arrow popped up there when you were close. Whoop! Okay, we can go everywhere on this illustration. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, there's nothing to actually do here, though. Except say hi to this moth, and then he does his he fixes hair. Fixes his hair. There's got to be something else down here. I don't. What about on does. that little standout thing that's almost got an arrow drawn on it? Where? Like down at where the smoke tip ends. What? The blue smoke. Oh, the blue smoke. Well, I guess you can stand there, but it does nothing. I mean, she can breathe in more of that delicious smoke, but that's about it. Yeah, that's all. Huh. It's just, all right. you can go down here. And look and see that there's other things. Yep. Good to know. Glad we came back. Well, I bet there's some place where you can go to come out here. Is it back here? No. Well, we're leaving. You tricked us once, game. We're not gonna go hunting around to be go nowhere and do nothing. Except in as much as that may be what the game is. We already got an achievement for being curious and now we're gonna stop being curious. <laughs> now we're gonna be utterly mercenary about delivering the mail. Yes. Now that we got the achievement, we don't care nothing about nothing. Okay. Next next closest, or do you want to hike out a little further? Yeah. Try and do them in order so we don't forget what, <laughs> which ones we've gone to. Um, so either go counterclockwise or go clockwise. I'll, I'll do this one next. And that way we'll know that the left ones are done and mm -hmm. we'll move to the right from there. Somehow up through another hole in the ground. Mysterious. Um, what are you doing? Sneeze. Uh, are you are you allergic to eyeballs? Seems no, allergic like. to mouse pointers. The eyeballs not anywhere near. Allergic to interactivity. Well, aren't we all? Um. Can drag and go up, but not sideways. 
Oh, there yeah. are a lot of branches here. Wow. Holy crap. Well, no time like the present. Get in there, Tiny Eye. This game seems like it should be named Tiny Eye. Uh-huh. But it's called Tiny Echo. So I guess maybe that's the, that's the ultimate puzzle of this game. Why is it called Tiny Echo? Should I start with this one? Or start down Why here? would you start with that one? Why not? If you think you can keep track, sure. You know, someday you're going to disappear into a corn maze and never come back <laughs> out. I can feel it. can't get into their house, but you can get into the hole in their front yard. Yep. Well, you know, that's the hole for guests. <laughs> your family hole you put inside through your walls. Hey, this is this place. Oh, yeah. Where you can see the guy's legs sticking out. Yeah. Have you... Okay, you figured out that part of it. Have you figured out the mini-eyed raven thing? <laughs> Not yet. Why don't you pet the locust? Hey, Locust. Perfect. All right. Let's okay. go see if we can keep that ginseng. Hey, ginseng. I don't think we can even touch it. Look at that. Oh, uh, yeah. Nothing. Just walk past the ginseng, huh? Through another hole. Can we do anything with you? No, it looks like another hole <gasps> down at the bottom. But we do need to figure out Aww. how to get there. Hey, yeah, is that, that a different firehead? It's a different firehead. Oh, a little sleeping rodent. Oh. <laughs> it makes different noises! <laughs> yeah, sleeping rodent noise. <laughs> 3A, 3B, <laughs> C. From the sleeping rodent SFX pack. Mm-hmm. Now, if we go left, we find weird multi-eyed crow. Hey, crow. And deliver another letter. Is your sh... can't approach that thing? Uh, it seems like. Because if Just we... Just can't handle the base? Yeah, we can't go close and we'll... I'll see... I'll do it again and it'll trigger that noise, I'm pretty sure. She won't even do nope. it! <laughs> she made a little whining noise, that's fun. <laughs> Scared of that thing. Well then, throw the letter down the hallway. We don't care if you actually put it in their hands. No, you gotta deliver a shadow letter. You can't mess around with that stuff. Hey, she went back. Yeah. A little further. A little further. You can do it. <laughs> She'll you only take up, little tiny click on steps. The creature? Or how close do you think you have to be before you can click? Deliver the letter. Do your job. Okay. Hey, Big Raven. You ready for your shadow to get a letter? He looks very ready for this. should come out and snap. This feels a little port more portentous than the other ones. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like a mini-eyed raven is not something you really want to wake up. And yet, here we go. Yep, wake up the shadow self of the mini-eyed raven. That sounds like a legit and sensible thing to do. 
Just trying not to think about how we might be, you know, breaking open seals. <laughs> Some part of a giant ritual. It can't be that bad. Our delivery person fell asleep. Yeah, she got over it. Makes a much nicer noise now. Let's go this way. Are there are from? there two exits out of here? We got yeah each one. Uh, I don't remember which one brought us down here. I think you're right. I think we want to go in the far right one and see where that kicks us out. Yeah, there we go. Deeper, deeper into the brute system. Huh. Another oh, locust. Uh-huh. Would... Oh, uh-huh. That one made a noise. Um, um, is that the end of the road? Maybe. Can you look can around? We, can we climb over? Sure we can. We can go behind. Or underneath. Wow. Through. Fix your hair. Looking good. <laughs> I'll fluff every moth. Alright. <laughs> moth or fluffer? <laughs> okay. Well, this one's going to be a little easier because we can see the firehead and we can see something that obviously looks like kindling. Hey, Beetle, you might want to relocate. <laughs> but what if the gold this time is to not kill this little firehead person. No, um, they want to die. That's why they follow us. Okay, here we go. Follow us to your destruction, firehead. I mean, in ours, too. We're standing closer than they are, even. Okay, goodbye. Ah. <laughs> you look pretty thoughtful. So, that goes up a chimney or something, and... Oh. What? Drives off a fox? I see. Where, where are you going? Oh. Moved a fox over a couple feet. Well, Mission accomplished. Thank goodness. <laughs> that was definitely worth the sacrifice of Little Firehead's life. I mean, we don't know what, what the deal was with the fox or the boat, but we're certainly doing things. <laughs> you can't deny we are... We may not know what our actual goal is, <laughs> but we are making big changes in this world. <laughs> All of day's work for a postal delivery person. Indeed. Light as many fires as you can. Through these very roundabout tunnels. You seriously have to walk all the way back out? Yep. There was no other exit up there, huh? No. Nope. Bummer. This is how your average indie game tries to trick you into thinking you got your money's worth. <laughs> it's like, well, I certainly spent a lot of time playing it. Sure, a lot of it was backtracking through the map. Should we check and see? Was there anything else to interact with over here? I don't think so. Well, I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss any more pits, you know? Uh-huh. Let's go over and just make sure that that pit is not interactable with this one. But it's not. Alright. Back we go. Pitter patter, let's get at her. No. It's done. The pittering, the pattering. Can, can you hear it? Can we tickle these feet? Yep. Yes. That's great. Can we mess with this rat again? It's <laughs> only so many sound files. <laughs> uh, that's the best. Annoyed rodent is my favorite sound in the game so far. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No! Nope, committed. As soon as that letterbox comes in, it's all over. No. Nope. Yep, yep, now we can we, see the fox. We remember the fox moved. You did a 
nothing. Thanks, game. Yeah, we remember. It was like five seconds ago. Should I go back in? I think I saw another hole that we didn't go through. I'm gonna go back in. Neither rain, nor snow. Nor loading times. <laughs> nor screen loading. See? There. Sure enough. Another way out of here. Hey! Oh, okay. What a truly bizarre maze. Yeah. And so leaving out the far right brings us back by that other person's feet? Yep. Uh, that doesn't make an... I think we're in non-Euclidean space. Yeah, I'm not... I'm officially giving up on trying to keep a map in my head of where we're at. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Alright, so we went down here. Uh-huh. And... We got two buildings up above. Okay, let's do this one next. You know, most male people would just... What? Oh. Spat out on the other side of the river. This must have been how we came in. Did we go down this hole? I we think that's where we came hole. from. Yeah, that's And then right. we went through this door, came out, and went down. We just forgot. Yes. So now we gotta go up where this uh, other rodent person is painting their home. <laughs> Well, clicking on them prompts them to dip their paintbrush. Mm -hmm. So you can just imagine it shouting, Hey, your brush is dry! <laughs> hey, dry brush! <laughs> Try to get a dry effect. Well, we got it to move. Was it keeping us from getting somewhere? I would have thought that maybe we were going to deliver to it. Is it one of those things where you got to get close enough that you can throw something up at the sleeping fox? Does not want to wake up. Huh. Well, oh. he wasn't uncovering something that we needed because because there's nothing clickable here. in the smoke. Yeah. All right. Um. That's. Where we came from. Why oh. are we going back? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Nope. Too late. The letterbox is here. <laughs> Give in to the letterbox. Hey, dry brush! <laughs> I came all the way back here to tell you your brush is dry. Alright, into the hollow tree. Keep your elves ahoy. Do they even run those commercials anymore about the Keebler Elves? No, you're sending our viewers to Wikipedia. <laughs> it's K-E-E-B-L-E-R in case you... You don't need to know. <laughs> Got him to play a sour note. Yep. Alright. Get some bird song going. Should get some guardrails going. Yep. Very unsafe working conditions. It's an OSHA violation. Well, this is why we need the proletariat army to rise up. For guardrails? For guardrails. What is that thing? And workplace safety. Do we... It is a plant. We waved an envelope at it. We're supposed to deliver to it, but... It it's put... not blossomed yet? Yeah, I put a sun over it. Like, we have to wait until it's sunny before we can deliver to this plant. This game has weather systems? I, evidently. Or actually, one of those other letters that we delivered got some divine being to bring some stars out. So maybe one of our other deliveries will bring the sun out. Or maybe you could just move some leaves that are keeping it from getting its sun. Oh, okay. I was thinking a little more metaphorical. <laughs> And it wasn't a plant. It was a person inside a plant. <laughs> what were you doing in there? And why wouldn't you come out until there was sun? Maybe it's that was a carnivorous plant and it wouldn't let <laughs> it go until it got sun. <laughs> Saved your life, fool. You're getting devoured. By a plant that was allergic to light. Anyway, here's a letter for your shadow self. I could save you some reading. It's going to be a snap. 
<laughs> Just wake the hell up. Are you in hell too? We're <laughs> in hell. that blossom, but they yeah. couldn't make the one that they were trapped in blossom. Well, that one was eating them. The other <laughs> one's too small to eat them. Okay. <laughs> um, I love the idea that the letter carrier just immediately takes a nap. Like, you take your time reading that. I am in no rush to deliver <laughs> to any of the other people. <laughs> I set my own hours. <laughs> How many do we have left? Um, I don't know. Cool. I think we've done five. And there's 13. We might have done six. Doesn't it tell you when you do the right mouse thing? Uh, let's see. Yeah, hold it. Six out of thirteen done. There you go. We're almost halfway there. All we need to do is half deliver something and we'll <laughs> reach the halfway point. I think we've half delivered to this person because we, we did the first thing, then we moved them. And now we just need uh, the painter's ladder. Yeah, we just need to knock this painter off his ladder. Hey! Get off there. Hey, dry brush. <laughs> How do we get up to uh, get the person who's snoozing next to their book up there? Um, I don't know. Did we try going in here? That's how we... That's where we came from. Hmm. If you look around, doesn't it add the arrows? Yeah. Alright, so maybe it's not going to be from down here. Maybe it'll be from up above in some other landscape. I think we need to go back this way. Uh-huh. And then... Are there two exits here? Is it the hole and a walk? It's just uh, the hole? It's just the hole. Hmm. Oh, there's three people there. Yeah. And they need a letter, so... At some point, we got to figure out how to pop out up there. Where haven't we been? On this map, I think we've done everything except for whatever the fox is supposed to do. Right. Unless there was a branch off of uh, where the guy was getting eaten by the carnivorous plant that we missed. We can go up here. <laughs> or maybe we could just walk behind this building. Cool. Where is this gonna send us? Whoa! What? Huh. We could have exited the scared children map over here. So your favorite part of the game is 100% terrorizing <laughs> rodents? Yeah. I'm not going to apologize for that. That's completely <laughs> above board. The majority of our subscribers are rodents. <laughs> okay. We lose our so... entire viewership. Yep. All right. Fine. For the three rats that watch these videos, I apologize for the irritation of rodents everywhere. Um. There's something over here we can do? I think that was the fox. That's the fox? Yeah, we're just uh, getting yeah. fox growling. It's really far away from the fox, though. Hmm. I feel kind of dumb. Doesn't it seem like it should be obvious what we do next? 
Considering how many times we've found paths we missed before and popped out completely strange places, no, I'm not surprised that we missed something. This is not a thing. Oh, hey. You got the kids some soup, so. Well, at least something was accomplished. There you go. Keep feeding. Keep feeding. <laughs> we want to see that kid sprout up an extra foot before we leave. <laughs> then to swell like a balloon and roll out of here. No, what I'm think thinking is you keep feeding the kid, right? And then the kid has to pee. Uh-huh. And then the kid goes inside and then the door opens and we can follow and go in and that leads us somewhere else. You are you want to follow a peeing child. <laughs> what social services number do I need to call? to dissuade you of this plan. <laughs> Alright, so I will say, if we're supposed to get up, I think we probably have to go through the painter's house. Did you see that? What? Look. Some, um... See these patches? These dark like patches appeared. like some smoke appeared. or something. Yeah, I think that appeared because of what I was doing. Ah, uh, maybe not. Okay. Maybe have another look around while we're up by the painter's house. Yep. So there's no way to just walk up that green leaf and get up there where those guys are? <laughs> she gives a little shrug. Yeah, no path to get up there? Nope. That would have been too easy. <clears throat> hmm. And there's not... You can't go around that house. There's no path, like, behind it. Right. Let's go over here again. Yeah, I was kind of wondering if we, you know, maybe go back into the tree here. If there was a path out of there that we missed. Yeah, okay. Let's check. And an extra long stick to poke that fox with. Because <laughs> it won't get down off the roof. So, mm. like, we're up above, presumably, where those other mice are sitting. So, if we look around, is there another path out of here other than that door? Hmm. She can only go, like, this far back. Well, I this mean, way. use the right mouse thing that reveals where the arrows are. This really is a dead end. There's no other path down the tree. Yep. Well, darn. Yeah, I thought maybe we could go in this birdhouse hole. Yeah. But it doesn't look like it. Those are for ventilation only. <laughs> well, I annoyed another rodent, so I'm happy. But yeah, I guess that's maybe not a rodent. It might be a fox. It's probably a rodent, though, right? Because it's small. Mm -hmm. The fox is huge. Hey, Mr. Fox, what's your deal? I'm really puzzled about what we did with that smoke and moving the fox. Uh, yeah, I don't get it. Well, maybe we should... Head back to the beginning, see if we can get something else done that'll drop us out there by surprise. Yeah, let's see that. I figure we got time to get in at least one more delivery. Do you remember where we had to go to get back to the beginning? Through that door on your right gets you across the river. down into the hole. That's going to take us through the whole thing, though. Didn't we find a path that just took us all the way back to the nexus? Wasn't that this way? Let's see if uh, I'm right. Yeah. I, I forgot about that path behind the house. It's going to lead us back out the way we came in. I think you're right. You found that that uh, path behind the house drops us out. Was it at the far right or something? Yeah. And it was like 
That doesn't make any Weirdly sense. enough. Because in my head, we're very far on the... No. Oh, no. This took us back to here. What happens if you go behind... Oh. <laughs> you got it. You're steering. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> no, I think you're right with what you were going to say. Which is, since we're up here, go behind the cowering children and leave that way. Yes. It has the added benefit of being up and left again, which is kind of where that other delivery was. Ah, but it is not taking us that way. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. But then we go here and we come out up here. Uh-huh. By the frog monk. Yep, and then we go back to here. And this takes us back to the middle, right? No. And this takes us back to the middle. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so we went that way. Yep. We went this way. Mm -hmm. Let's go this way. Okay. Into this person's house. Yep. Is this where your uh, shadow selves are all gathered in hell? Through this door? I'm into it. <clears throat> Another sleeping person, like a vole or something there in the lower right. Oh. Oh, that's our delivery person. Oh, we gotta wake these people water. up. They need water or tears. <laughs> How do we start crying? Oh, this person is crying. You okay. cry with them. Uh huh. Uh huh. So now, are we crying enough that we can keep crying all the way back to that person? Probably. No, don't wipe your eye. <laughs> Hold on to that sadness. Yep. There, there we, we go. go. Oh, it's a bird. It's a bird. The abyss. That's part of waking up is a walking eyeball crying in your cup. <laughs> so what's your job in hell? Because it's time to wake up and do it. Oh, rain. Something needed to rain for it to happen. Maybe we're. Maybe we've been that then. Who can say? Alright, how many exits on this place? Uh, Just the one. The way back out? Mm hmm. This one's self contained, huh? Yep. Hmm. Away we go. We didn't do nothing for that bird up there that was crying. Nope. We told their story. So if we go back this way, it's going to take us to that confusing one. Sure, but what other options do we have? We can go back the way we came. So both of the, both this way and that way lead to the same place. Right, which is all of the, which is the river area. They're all interconnected. So this is where the game gets tricky and you have to keep 
going back over paths you've already visited. We knocked out the easy stuff, apparently. Yeah. And now we got to start finding holes in the ground we missed. Interactions we missed. Which, I don't know, is maybe a good opportunity to not take our viewers with us. Because they've seen the lay of the land, generally. Oh, it took us back to here, and then this goes back up there, right? Alright. The hole by the soup kid. Right. Okay. Anyway, so that's what it's like <laughs> to deliver mail as a giant eye. I hope that that broadened your horizons a little. Not our usual fare, but uh, honestly, this the character design in this forest are so cool to go wandering around in that uh, we enjoyed ourselves. Yeah, I, I thought it was fun. Um, the It's an interesting idea to design puzzles around remembering how things connect when things connect in a non-linear fashion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, Turns into a pretty considerable challenge. Yeah, yeah. If you have any theories about what's going on with all the mail delivery, we'd love to hear them in the comments. If you have any idea what we've been accomplishing, that would be great. <laughs> How about votes on whether or not that was hell? Because you don't think it's hell. Right. I'm sure it's hell. So either team hell or team anything else. <laughs> you can make your allegiance known. Yep. All right, everyone. Hope you had fun. We will see you again later. Bye. Bye, all.